We're talking about why you should own multiple domains for your business here on The Journey. Whether it's for a business or a blog, or you just really want to slice the pie of the internet, your domain name is your digital address online. And if your domain is your address, your domain extensions is like your zip code in that it gives your website visitors a little bit more information about you. And when it comes to purchasing a domain name, there are a lot of common questions, including whether your business needs more than one. So there's actually no limit to the number of domain names that you can buy, but there's actually just some general considerations that every business should make to determine how many domain names they should buy. There are so many instances where registering an additional domain name could help more people get to your site, starting with misspellings. And I think this is one of the most important reasons to purchase more than one domain name is just to protect against user error because there's always the potential for people to really misunderstand what your domain name is when they hear it or make a mistake when typing it. You wanna make it a priority to own all common misspellings of your company's name or personal name. Like my last name is Neely, yet everyone spells it L-Y instead of L-E-Y. So I have justinneely.com and justinneely.com. But that's just one example. To account for those inevitable errors and typos, really consider registering domain name variations for the common misspellings that people make when searching for your brand and redirect them to your primary domain. Google, for example, owns google.com and goggle.com and redirects visitors to google.com. Let's also talk about local competition, which you know I'm going to bring up SEO. So for search engine optimization purposes, businesses with various locations, those multi-locs that cater to different audiences, often take advantage of owning specific domains for each. Makes sense, right? So if you have a keyword strategy in mind for your local market, having an individual domain for each one will actually help you to take up more real estate. And that's great for search results. So registering country specific domains as well can help you to prevent your competitors from profiting from geographically distant versions of your brand name. So that's why brands like Nike, for example, register domains like nike.com.au and it redirects them to nike.com. It's also better for just the overall branding for your business. You can register GTLDs such as .store or .pro to target various communities and highlight segments of your business. And if you already have a traditional domain name that ends in like .com or .net, Purchasing a domain name with a different TLD alongside it may allow you to really stand out from the crowd and highlight a specific focus of your brand. And another way to use a more meaningful TLD is to help people easily navigate to specific content on your website. For example, public companies might use a .info domain to really separate out their investor relations information and a company running a campaign around environmental initiatives could have website name .green. Obviously, website name would be a better example and it'd be your business, but you get the gist. Now, people can and will buy your domain just to trick people. I know, crazy, right? But a more pressing reason to buy more than one domain is then to protect your brand and as well as your customers. And there are two types of people that will do this. It's criminals or competitors. And this is a pretty serious problem and actually even for major brands. Cybercrime can come in different shapes and sizes, hosting malware, phishing content, and other scams. And if your business name is available, they will buy it. And at that point, you maybe could try to ask them to sell it back to you, but then they can charge really any price they want to sell it back to you. Yeah, same goes if there is a very common misspelling of your domain name that's still available. However, however, unlike cyber criminals, your competitors aren't going to stoop so low as to commit fraud using your brand name. But what they can do is register the domains that uh, you have not And this could have a significant impact. I mean, firstly, anyone who mistakenly thinks your website ends in .com, an assumption that the majority of people make, when it could be .co and they won't find your website when they type in the address. A competitor with a similar name may inadvertently create confusion. So having related 
or similar domain names is an easy and inexpensive way to protect your identity online. So what to do with all of these domains? Well, when you register a domain, there's actually no requirement for you to go ahead and create a website for it. Um, just simply set it up and then if anyone visits it, it'll redirect them to another website. Hey, and with most registrars, it's pretty easy to forward multiple domain names to your website. So you can simply create one site and then have all the others redirect. So if a visitor ends up typing one of those or clicks a link, just goes back to your main website. Now, many companies do see the benefits of registering multiple domains. Uh, think about it, it protects their business from criminals and competitors, and it also helps customers find them, making it easier for them to sell to a wider market. And with so many TLDs available today, it's worth taking a look at the opportunities that these create. The key is to have a clear game plan for each one, and with good strategy in place, you'll be well positioned to make multiple domains work for you. So I've gotta know, do you have multiple domains for your business? Let us know in the comments below and smash that like button while you're at it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you're the first to know when our next video comes out. This is The Journey. See you next time.